Well, hello, travelers. As you can tell, we have made our way into Epcot because we are heading right over here to Space 220. And it's actually for our Disney dining quest because we have to go to the lounge area. We have done the restaurant, but now we go to go to the lounge area because they actually do things different in the lounge. So come along. We're actually meeting some fellow travelers for their 35th wedding anniversary. So come along and let's see and what- And I'm here because I wouldn't let him come without me. That's right, <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. So come along and let's see what the 220, Space 220 Lounge has to offer us today. How about before dinner we head into Creation, see if there's anything new. Looks like they have a new Moana collection, new dress there, and throws, and mugs, and glasses. I like the glasses though, those are cute. I do like the glasses. God, they got a huge selection of Moana. This Must be like getting ready jacket. for the new attraction to open. Maybe that's why. Is this foreshadowing right here? Maybe. And then over here on the sidewalk. Oh, look at that shirt. How much is that shirt? That shirt right there is $59.99. Not too bad. Bucket hats, backpacks, more bags right there. Uh, those really aren't my Wano ears, but we'll give them. They match the theming. Hey, they got native shoes. Moana native shoes. And then, of course, Moana tees right there. And, of course, for the little ones, they've got clothing, shoes right there. More tees. Play sets. I love those play sets, especially Maui in there. And Hampua. Okay, these dolls, I love this doll. This is one of my favorites. Pull his bottom there. They're like little Russian dolls. So you pull him out, get Pua, and then you get Hey Hey. But they're stackable. Oh, Did you know Pua means flower? And when they made the decision, when they made Moana, they left him behind because they wanted to have her leave all her comforts of home back at her home. So that's why he did not accompany her in the boat when she left the island. I did not know that. Thank that's you, right. Michelle. Our friend started it the other night, and now I just looked, and that's the reason why. So she she loved him as a pet, so that's why they left him behind. Cute little outfit there for the young ones. And look at that. That little jacket is fantastic. Of course, when you have Moana merchandise, you got Moana Dooney and Burke bags right here. Little crossbody, wallets, satchels right there. Oh. How much are these? I think the wallets are one. 168. 168 for the wallets right there. That's more like a crossbody. It's a better style. It's kind of like yeah. a cross between the bigger bag and the smaller one. And how much are these? It is 268. 268 for those. So the new Moana Doonies are also here at Creations. And that bag right there is 298. It's like a drawstring bag. And here at Creations, they are 100 merchandise strong. Soaps, lounge flies, ears, hats, pillows, you name it, they've got it here at Creations. Even the dog accessories. And probably the number one selling munchling is the Baymax S'mores right here. There's actually two different models now. There's the bigger pillow right there. And then there's the littler one right there. But here at Creations, they have a ton of munchling merchandise that has come in. But like I said, this one right here is kind of new. So they also have keychains right here. And then little purses. Look at these little things down here. And then if you come up here, they have candy bars right here in the Munchlings. But my favorite thing that has come in here recently within the past week is this right here. It is a Munchling Baymax s'mores kit right there. I just think that is adorable. And of course, Munchling pin sets, notebooks, lots. So it's like more of like a little jar right there. But check out the ornaments. I mean, they're just as cute as can be. But I haven't seen a Baymax ornament yet. They must really sell out. I even haven't seen them at the Contemporary. So these are new. 
Chip and Dale and Thumper with the succulents. Aren't those so cute? Let's see, that one is $24.99. The pair is $24.99. I love those. Yeah, that's cute. And they are fake, so that means I couldn't kill them. And if you needed to cool off your life a little with a little Mickey, there's some ice cube. And if you need a lot of chill, there's a big one. All right, look at these zippers. These are $39.99. Oof. Disney getting expensive on us. Those are $24.99. This is $24.99. $24.99, same as the other two. That's cute. Did any of you guys buy these? Did you figure out how to work them? Because I know in my household, I can't palm the top. So that would be the first thing that would break. Is I'd try to get a cookie, drop it, and it would break. Those are $59.99. But did y'all get things? How do you do it? This is pretty. This is from their Pride collection. I don't see a price, but I love the colors. $44.99. Yeah, I really like that. So what do you think? Yes or no? I love it because it's got Basquiat references. Wait, is that the Pride? Is that the same as the yes, Pro Rug? Yes, this is yes. All right. $59.99 right there. <laughs> I love this shirt. And they run big. I've actually tried it on at Dick and Debray. Oh, yeah? It's big. Never know. When is that? June? It starts June. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. It might be coming home with us. So for Space 220, they have a three-course dinner cuisine and they have a two-course lunch cuisine. $55 for lunch, $79 per person for dinner. And in the lounge, it's actually more a la carte. You can order different things off the menu. You are not preset to the three-course um, dinner. So that is the total difference is, is in the, the lounge. Same items in the lounge? S a lot of the same of items, but there are different items. And okay. we're going to check a look and maybe get a couple non-alcoholic fun space drinks. And as you're going into Space 220, you'll pass this little piece of history. This plaque was actually flown into space on Atlantis for one of their missions. STS-101. Thank you, Michelle, for that. On I April could not. April 24th, 2000. How about that? It returned on May 4th, 2000. Okay. Dave Formifer. I'm telling you, I'm glad she can read it because I cannot see anything. And just remember, for Space 220, you should have reservations for the dine, for the dining room and for the lounge, but sometimes you can do a walk up with the lounge. For reference, this is Mission Space right here. This is the ride. So you will come in here to queue up to go to the ride, either red or green side, whichever you choose. And then if you look right over to the left, you'll see the Space 220 restaurant sign. And you go there to check in and to catch the shuttle up to 220 feet in the air. And all the time I have been coming to Epcot and came over here to Mission Space the ride. The moon right here behind me, I never noticed that all these little gold things right here on the moon, that is all the landing spots that the United States and other countries have landed. So if you come read them, it'll tell you the date and what country landed at that location. I never knew that. And when somebody says the backside of the moon, we literally are the only ones that have ever made a trip to the backside of the moon. The Ranger 4 right there in 1962. If you're smart enough, you'll look at this plaque right here and you'll see what was manned missions, um, the first so mission, the, the and the unmanned. The red one is unmanned. the first men on the moon. Right. Blue is manned, and then the diamond clear is unmanned. Okay. So that's, so, so that's the first one. There's the first one right there. Apollo 11. So that was manned. That was manned right there. Okay. Unmanned, unmanned. There's a couple Russians. The top one is a Russian one. Yeah, but they're all unmanned on the Russian ones. I'll tell you, sometimes you just got to stop and look to see things. That's what I try to say. I try to tell everybody, slow down. You never know what you're going to find. You come to the checkout, check-in desk right here, and they get you ready for the shuttle. That'll take you up to Space 220 right here. And it'll be at Elevate. You're dining right there. But that's where we're headed, 220 feet up into the air. And here we go to 220. Centauri's 
space station coming into view. Once we dock, gather your belongings and exit through the open airlock. A Space 220 agent will be waiting for you. There is no sounds in space, but they are growing some fruit right there. I mean, some vegetables, some cabbage. But this is the space lock that we are in. So, like I said, it's very quiet. Very, um, you can't hear any sounds except for the machines. And they got their intergalactic wine cellar right there. I still think this whole theme is fantastic. And of course, now we are in. Uh, these are the window seats right here, and I will have to say I prefer the upper level, the gallery level, or the bar level, than these seats down here. This is more the lounge area right here, and you can get both, either the prefixed or whichever one you you can do the a la carte also. But I like these seats better because you can see all the windows, not just one. Okay, so I got the Moon Rocks, which is a non-alcoholic beverage. It is lemon juice, blue cotton candy syrup, Sprite, and pineapple juice with Pop Rocks right there. So we are going to give this a try. It was actually recommended to put the Pop Rocks in your mouth instead of in the drink. Okay, looking at my Pop Rock drinks, look at that. That little teeny tiny baby. Look how small that is. A little clothespin right there. And Michelle, you gonna hold it? Oh, I broke it! I broke my clothespin. I ain't getting too much. Be careful. They pop. Wait, on fire, right? <laughs> popping, popping. Ow, it hurt. I know. Wait till you take a drink. Told you. <laughs> so I decided to put the pop rocks in the drink. And it actually it works a little bit better. And this drink was twelve dollars. So Michelle got the calamari right there with the two dipping sauce. And I got the chicken and waffles right here. And this is let's see, I'm gonna give you the description as you look at that beautifulness right there. Um, it is chicken on waffle, fried chicken, smoked bacon, and roasted corn waffle spiced coleslaw and maple glaze right there and that was $18 and Michelle's we calamari starry calamari was $19 can't wait to give these a try okay so this is the rest of my chicken and waffles which by the way are fantastic we also got the short rib sliders that come with um, fries ketchup that's the rest of my chicken and waffles that dish right there is absolutely fantastic. But these are the two sliders that you get right here. And let's see, short rib sliders, white cheddar cheese, roasted peppers, citrus aioli, lettuce, tomato, butter pickles, and those are $18. So you get those two with the fries. <laughs> okay, so our last appetizer is the Blue Moon Cauliflower right here. And it's tempura fried cauliflower, house-made hot sauce, and blue cheese dust right there. And that is $17 for that appetizer. And to finish tonight's dinner off here at the lounge, we got the chocolate cheesecake. I'm not sure how much this was. Probably around $12, but we'll find out. Okay, we're going to try this. One? That is a clean is one. A one? <laughs> no, it's Do a clean a one. Yes, it's in my lap. There we go. Here we go. We're going to give this a try. It more looks like a moose. Okay. Here, we'll do it right here. Cheers. Happy anniversary, everyone. Cheers. Cheers, honey. So the way the dining room works is the upper level here and the bottom levels are the restaurant portion. 
which is the prefix menu, and this over here is the bar portion where you can get the appetizers, except for the one row that's by the railing. You can kind of get both there also, but this is space 220. And if you stay long enough at sunset, the sunset actually happens at the same time on the screen as it does outside. So this shuttle is coming up from Earth, right here. And this shuttle is going back down to Earth. Out of this world. Okay, travelers, we have made it back to Earth from space because we were at Space 220 right here. We had a wonderful dinner with Madeline and Greg. It was their 35th wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary. So we wanted to wish them a happy anniversary. Um, we did get the appetizers today on this because it's part of our Disney dining quest, so we had to go to the lounge area, which was perfect. I will honestly say the there was only one thing I enjoyed at the lounge and that was the chicken and waffles the calamari was okay the um cauliflower both we got two sets of it first one came out raw and the second one was very cold so they didn't charge us for that and then we got the sliders they were okay but the waffle chicken waffle i'd get that every time i go up there to eat in space. That was really good. Do you I feel like about the same one. way? Uh, it had I, the corn waffle. That oh, was it was different. good. It was, it was yeah, good. it was really good. So, um, like I said, we had a great time here. Two twenty. Great time with them. Yeah, that, so nice. To hear the stories that you travelers tell us, and it was their wedding anniversary. So Michelle said, "How'd you meet?" It was a fantastic story. Mm -hmm. So that's why we love meeting you guys and just sharing this time with and you, everyone. we appreciate you taking time out of your vacation day to spend exactly. it with us, because I know that can be tough too. Exactly. So we thank you for that. So thank you once again for traveling along with us. If you're a new traveler, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. But if you're a fellow traveler, thank you for traveling along. And like we always say, until next time, travel and adventure is out there.